morning. It is Tuesday morning. What day is it? February 26th already. Yeah, I'm just putting in here in the chat section where you can get a hold of us directly. Um, we're going to talk about violation free inspections today, uh, safety and, and preventing some of those write ups, keeping your CSAs looking all pretty. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, but during that, if um, you have any questions, obviously go ahead and leave it in the chat section right over here. Um, well, it's over here for me. And I will get to that as soon as possible. Now, if you want to talk to one of our recruiters, then you can reach them directly. Um, you can call them at 888-668-0698, drivedecker.com. Because, of course, we will talk about some of the different opportunities that we have going on here at Decker um, for for February, starting off right now. All right, so if what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about violation-free inspection. So if your nerves are on end every time you're going to go in for a DOT inspection, every time you're pulled in, I want you to be more confident in your equipment and knowing that you're going to have a clean inspection. And in order to do so, you need to be on top of your maintenance. You need to be doing a proper pre-trip, a complete and proper pre-trip. You know, know your hours of service. Uh, where are you at on those? That you're abiding by them. Of course, if you're on electronic logs, it should be pretty easy. And um, just know that you're going to have that violation-free inspection. And that's how we're going to. That's what we're going to go about right now. Um, we've got checklists available on our website. If you want, uh, let me actually go get that for you. The link. Is that of XRP? Let's see, the link for our, um, or to our, our, there we go. Can't talk and do something at the same time. The link to our checklist is right here in the chat. So it's drivedecker.com. This is on our blog and it's always do a proper pre-trip. And there you'll have access to our checklist for both our flatbed and our refrigerated divisions so that you are also getting everything completely uh, thoroughly pre-tripping every time, every time you start your day. And it's not only, it's not only at the beginning of your days, um, but every time you're going to pick up a new trailer, every time you're, you're getting a new load, always do a proper pre-trip. You know, and if you're going to be fueling up your stop, take a walk around, make sure everything's okay. Clean off the license and license plate. Make sure your placards are, are visible and secured and um, lights in all direction, your blinkers, your your lows, you know, you know your dims, your high beams. Um, check your fluids, of course, always check your fluids. This time of year, windshield wiper fluids, uh, you definitely wanna make sure that's good so that you can see, you know, give yourself the best possible chance. Hi, Sophie, good to join you, thank you very much. Um, but you wanna give yourself the best chance and the safest chance out there. So. Um, clear off those those icy windshield wipers. Get those all cleaned off and make sure that they are good to go. First stop. So we're going to have some confidence in each and every pre-trip that we're doing. And, you know, if you have anything, um, thank you. <laughs> if you have anything that uh, is a red flag, you need to talk to your driver manager and let them know. And you need to also communicate that with your maintenance department. So if you're here at Decker, obviously you can get a hold of our breakdown, our maintenance department at 515. 5744321 and the extension is 8250 that um that would help you out and and get you the the right individual along with uh, who to get that fixed who to work with to get that fixed so that's how we'll do it so if you have any questions obviously give them a call get a hold of your fleet manager and of course you can leave it in the comment section and we can move forward from there all right so again, if you have any questions that you want to ask here, go ahead and leave it in the chat section. And um, if you want to talk to a recruiter, it's 888-668-0698. All right. So what are we checking? Um, our uh, proper pre-trip is going to, you're going to be checking your, your cabin. So make sure that the engine is off, obviously. Brakes are set and lights are on, headlamps. Um, you've got your four ways, your clearance, you're doing a, a full, thorough job. Uh, like Anna says, a superior driver never allows a situation to deteriorate to the point that the superior driving skills are necessary. And Patrice always says that. He's the head of our smart drive. 
And yes, that, that's exactly right. So in order to do that, or one step, I guess, towards doing that is a proper pre-trip. So get yourself in order. Check under the hood, check your engine, your fluids, your water or washer, oil, um, power steering fluid, coolants. Make sure that you have the extra fluids that you might need in order to um, prevent any issues going down the road. Um, prepare, protect, and prevent. Those are our P's that we've been talking a lot about. You know, the weather is crummy. So make sure that you're you're staying on top of everything. You're getting enough sleep ahead of time. You're you're checking the weather reports, making sure that, I mean, right now it's, it's clear, but make sure that you don't, where you're headed is going to be clear as well. Um, giving yourself additional time for not only stopping time, but also for um, delivering and giving yourself a little bit more time every day. Uh, if you're driving in the night or inclement weather, you know, you're, you're uh, giving yourself, allowing yourself that extra time. So slow down, take your time, pack the essentials, have an emergency kit and everything in order. Hi, Amy. Good to see you as well. Um, it is, oh, no, it's, it's actually beautiful today. I mean, it's cold, but it, it's, it's beautiful. It's not blowing and snowing like it has been the last several days. So pretty darn thankful for that. Absolutely. So we're checking in everything under the hood. All right. Um, your frame, your assemblies, you're checking any, any abrasions, any cuts, any bumps, any cracks, any um, twists, and turns. Uh, we talked about yesterday, if you were on our Facebook page, um, speaking of, I should probably share this with our Facebook right now. So we have it. What is copy and paste that over there? Um, but we talked about this yesterday on our Facebook page as well. If you are, um, if you're needing to chain, obviously know how to chain, but if you aren't already, sorry, my Facebook page is taking a little bit longer to load. Um, if you're not aware of how to chain, we do have a video on our YouTube channel on that process. So Liam has gone ahead and, and videoed that for us so that we've got it. Let's see, is that gonna work? Yep, there we go. There. Okay, so anyways, Liam has gone ahead and um, created that video for us so that we can um, show you all the steps in chaining. Now, of course, he is indoors, so it's a little warmer and a little easier to do it in the, at least in the video, he's indoors. And so um, it's not, it's not as difficult as really it's going to be more difficult for you because you're more in that inclement weather. You know, you're in that the nasty foot of snow or two feet of snow, depending on where you're at. <laughs> but you remember that you're chaining to get yourself out of trouble. I know I always say that, but you're chaining to get yourself out of trouble, not to put yourself in that type of situation. So um, get yourself out of there, know how to do it properly. And you may not have to chain, but knowing how to chain is one way to prepare yourself and prevent any any issues. Um, Anna says, given the extreme cold weather expected this week, please remember the three Ps. And again, that's the prepare for your trip. Um, prepare, protect, and prevent. Prepare for the trip, protect yourself, and prevent accidents and incidents on the road. Obviously, some of those are out of your control, but by uh, giving yourself that extra distance and slowing down and giving yourself more time, that's obviously gonna help you prevent a lot of that. Um, Sealy's pretty nasty. Sealy, Montana, pretty nasty. Plows are out and that makes a big difference. You know, in, in Iowa, I've been seeing left and right on Facebook, all of the uh, videos out there of uh, really the tractors, this, the plow is just, uh, you know, all but buried in the snow, trying to get, trying to make some headway for you. So yeah, you guys definitely be, be careful. It is not only snowy, but it's cold. So if you, if you do get stuck, if your truck gets stuck, um, then make sure that you're, you're idling for, you know, 10 minutes on, on every hour, give yourself a little bit of idle time here at Decker. We have APUs in all of our trucks. So, um, make sure that you're, using them. you know, that that's important, but with the cold weather, you're, you're going to need to idle. And I know we do like to keep down on the idle. It's part of our scorecard. We're aware of it. We want to make sure that you're aware of it. And if you are, if you are having to idle more because you're in negative degree weather, we completely understand. So um, first and foremost, you know, be safe. That's important. 
Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. What am I missing? Always check your chains for damage. That's right. That's where I was going with that, by the way. Uh, check your chains for damage and make sure that they're, they're, um, there's no twists in them because when you're properly putting them on, if there's a, if there is a twist, then you're, you know, you, then at that point you aren't properly putting them on. But if there's a twist, it can um, cause damage to the chains and then they're, or they're going to be useless to you when you need them. So make sure that they're in good condition, even before you head out on the road. That's part of your pre-trip. You're checking your chains, checking your chains on that. So, um, yes. So Trekker Al started orientation in Bessemer on Thursday. All right. A couple days away and a little warmer climate down there. So that's good for you. <laughs> you get, you get to benefit from that where the rest of us are, are snowed in. We did start orientation a little bit later this week, um, obviously because of the, the roads and the weather and we wanted to make sure that everybody got here safely instead of having them rush to get to orientation so um started the physicals and stuff on well today really make sure everybody's here safe so and thankfully they are we love to hear that um so good deal good to have you starting in bessemer a good group of guys down there so they'll take good care of you Yes, Amy, thank you. Al, you're going to enjoy your, your new team here here at Decker. So she's got to say that too. Husband says so. <laughs> yep. Prepare before you even go out. So you're checking brakes, you're checking suspensions and all of your fluids and all of your hoses and, and belts and everything else, making sure that everything's working in order. Um, that's all part of a proper pre-trip. And don't forget, you can get that um, right here on our, did I get that over there to you guys? One more time. I'm just going to post this so that you can see it, but this is a link to our blog, which has the, the checklist for the pre-trip. You know, and if you go through our orientation, you'll have all of that, but uh, we do want to make sure that even if you're not here with Decker, that you are, are well prepared out on the road and that you're not going to get broke down, stuck or anything like that. Um, speaking of stuck, if you're, um, if you're needing to pull off or, or whatever, ideally get somewhere where um, your the truck itself is protected by the wind. You know, if you can pull up alongside of a building instead of just being in the middle of the parking lot, uh, that, that's going to help a little bit. There you go. Thanks, Anna. Uh, so that's going to help a little bit uh, just to, to kind of keep the, the wind from cooling you down even more. And, um, you know, Keep that exhaust away from any snow piles. If you're backing into a spot, uh, make sure that you're giving yourself enough room so that that so that your exhaust is not going into the into a snow pile or something that's going to block the exhaust. Okay, APUs are in all the trucks. Um, so are a lot of the other safety necessities. But you need your own warm gear. Um, making sure that you have a legit jacket. I've had a couple of guys come to orientation and they don't have warm enough jackets. You know, can't remind you enough. This is cold weather. You need to make sure that you're bringing warm jackets or warm coats, uh, gloves, hats, proper boots, you know, winter boots, winter boots. You know, this is, this is not flip-flop weather. It never is for that matter. Not when you're driving, but uh, make sure that you're prepared for that. All right. What do you guys do? What do you do to uh, get yourself ready and prevent a, a proper or prevent uh, any write-ups on your on your inspections? You know, I was checking out a blog the other day. Um, Smart trucking. Have you guys heard of that? I'll find it. Smart trucking. Um, he's he's got some great articles on there. If you haven't already checked it out, and uh, a couple of things that he he was saying some heads up on on um on what do i want to say the officers that are are doing the inspections a lot of times they you know they used to have you open the door and as they did the walk around and everything now they don't usually they don't necessarily do that as much they don't need you to get out um and hand them you all the paperwork like they used to but at the same time uh be prepared uh be comfortable you know talk to them let them know um, but he kind of gives you an idea of what what a, a full inspection is going to in, entail. So um, here it is, CSA inspection. 
you guys can check that out when you have a few minutes check that out um it's talking about making sure that you have the a spare tire and and uh, there's no rust on the truck the reflective tape is stuck you know a lot of helpful helpful hints if you haven't checked it out please do so um, but like anna says have it on hand flashlights jumper cables abrasive material um had to dig quite a few people out the other day you know obviously they weren't trucks but um still make sure that you have kitty litter or, or sand or something like that uh floor mats are can work as well snow shovel snow brush all that all that handy stuff this time of year uh, proper uh, trailer attaching you know making sure that your your trailer is properly attached your fifth flow make sure that it's latched all the way Yes, indeed. Yes, Anna's got some great suggestions. So feel free to take a look at some of those, planning your route, allowing additional time for that, and, and just not being in too big of a hurry. <laughs> Good. There we go. Avoid fatigue. Yeah. Um, this, you know, this time of year, at least, I've noticed that uh, you get tired sooner, you know, with longer or shorter hours, I guess, but um, we're still required to to keep moving and put in the same amount of hours every day. You know, you guys are putting in long hours on a daily basis. And so uh, more of it is in, or more of it's night driving at that time. Um, so give yourself give yourself the, the benefit and, and prepare properly. <laughs> oh, we did get an update on some of the new positions that we've got. Um, from yesterday. Hey, I'm going to go MIA for a minute. See if I can reach my printer. I didn't grab it earlier. All right. Anything different from what I had yesterday? Uh, we do have five positions available in our Fort Dodge short haul. If you guys haven't checked that out, please do so. You can get a hold of any of the recruiters, by the way, at 888 six six eight zero six nine eight this position is it is it's short haul so it pays um well it pays 41 cents a mile you're going to get a penny raise after 90 days you'll get a penny raise every year on your anniversary as well um but it is basically through the house every other day so this is going to give you an opportunity to to see a little bit more home time and again you can get more information on that by getting hold of one of the recruiters at eight 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 six six eight zero six nine eight and they'll give you some more details on that so home on the weekends monday through friday um but no your your um every other day is is pretty normal for for your home on that so that's our fort dodge short haul but we do have a lot of other options for dedicated or or regional positions uh, lamar's iowa i have some some home daily positions for there it is nighttime driving for this division um, because that, those are the only spots that I have open right now. But uh, I have five of those from Lamar's to Sioux City, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. shift. And that pays um, per shift, obviously. So that one's going to pay per shift uh, $300 per shift, two days on, two days off, three days on, three days off, and back and forth. So um, right now we just have five. So I know it says six, but we actually have five that we we need for that one. Oh, we have a dedicated position. This is a newer one here in the last couple of weeks. It is filling really quick. This one again is out of Fort Dodge. So uh, running dedicated to Blair, Nebraska, back and forth. That one's going to pay $250 per day, Monday through Friday. Um, it is it, it's the same type of rotation, two days on, two days off, three days on, three days off. And in that one, you're going to basically every, same like Lamar's, uh, every other weekend, you'll have a full weekend off, meaning Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you have a three-day weekend every other weekend. Um, and then on the reverse, you'll have like Sunday, Monday, or Friday, Saturday for the two days off for that weekend. So I do have a couple of, couple of those available. Now that one is 250 for the Monday through Friday shifts and then for the Sunday, Saturday and Sunday shift, you'll be paid 275 per day on those. 
And the only positions that I have available, one for an 8 p.m. start and then one and then two for 11 p.m. start. So again, night driving with those. It's a hopper position and it pays two fifty dollars for the, the Monday through Friday shifts and uh, two seventy five dollars for the weekend, the Saturday, Sunday shifts. But um, every other, every other, you'll get the, the three day weekend. If you have more questions about that, we can give you some more details. Basically, this time of year, you're going to it's going to take you a little bit longer. But usually um, on normal weather days, <laughs> you're looking at about uh, about eight hour shifts on those on that uh, hopper position out of Fort Dodge. So 888-668-0698 for more details on that. Uh, what We've got uh, another position available, local position out of Bessemer, Alabama. Um, speaking, Al, we were talking about a, a good team. That's a great team that's down there. And um, it's home daily. It pays per hour. So it's $17 an hour. And um, every once in a while, there might be a Saturday, but it's usually just Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday is all. Am I missing anything here on the... Nope, looks like we're we're caught up on, on the comments there. So that's our Bessemer Local. Uh, we have our Midwest Dry Van, which we've introduced here this winter. And it's uh, Monday through Friday. If you live anywhere from like Lincoln, Nebraska area to Gary, Indiana, and it's going to pay anywhere from 43 to 50 cents a mile, depending on your experience. 43 to 50 cents a mile. And again, that's our dry van position. Uh, if you want to apply, you can go to drivedecker.com for that and then click in the upper right hand corner. It says apply now. You can click there and, and get a full application in. So that, that'll do the trick for that van position. Now, if you live in Atlanta, Georgia, um, Hartwell, Georgia, uh, Anderson, South Carolina, the, we do have a every other week. So it's basically two weeks out for that dry van. It's still hauling the pet supplies, uh, the same, you know, out of the same plants out of Lincoln and Nebraska and, and along I-80 there. But you're two weeks out instead of uh, weekly home time. So you're, you're running a little bit larger area for that one. So we are looking for a couple of people out of the, especially the Atlanta area for that position. So two weeks out, 888-668-0698 uh, if you want some more details on that. We want to talk to a recruiter, uh, see if you if you qualify as well. Speaking of qualifying, um, one main questions that I get, if you have a DOT recordable accident uh, that is not, or that is preventable um, in the last three years, you will not qualify until that is three years old. So just a heads up, the DOT recordable accidents must be three years old. Major moving violations have to be three years old. And that's going to include anything from a, a reckless, careless, a 15 over ticket to um, improper passing can also sometimes qualify under that. Um, but yeah, DUI is obviously three years old. Those are all things that, that have to be off your three-year record in order to, to qualify for Decker. So if you want more information on what qualifies and what doesn't, obviously get a hold of a recruiter, ask those questions up front, especially if you have some accidents or some tickets. Um, if you have minor moving violations, like maybe you have a speeding ticket or a lane violation, then those are usually considered minor as long as it's like 15 under for or less than 15 over, I guess, for the speeding ticket. Um, if it's a lane change violation, an improper lane or a erratic lane change, that is a major moving violation and that does have to be three years old. Uh, we get asked this often. Those are questions that uh, any of our recruiters will be able to answer. 888-668-0698. That way you know up front um, before you even fill out an application, you're going you're gonna to have the whether or not you're gonna fall in our guidelines. Accidents, we can work with incidents such as a backing incident or um, a turning incident, as long as they are not DOT recordable, if they're in the last three years, as long as they're not DOT recordable or, or preventable, then you'll be just fine. Obviously, if it's non-preventable, you're okay. So if, whether it's DOT or not. 
trying to think of what else to some of the disqualifying. Um, but yeah, uh, DUIs, another question. We we do require those are three years old. Same with uh, failed or refusal drug and alcohol tests. Those have to be three years old as well. Okay. So back on to some of the different positions that we have. Uh, we do have a dedicated position out of Council Bluffs, Iowa, Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, that one is running, basically it's starting there at the plant. It's refrigerated and runs several different areas. You're looking into Illinois and, and Wisconsin. Um, it can go into Indiana, obviously Iowa, um, back into the Nebraska area. That one's going to get you home on a weekly basis. It does pay the Midwest refrigerated rate, which is 43.50 cents a mile. Again, 10 cents of that's per diem, but it could be multiple drops. Uh, you're usually headed back into the Nebraska area, Omaha area for uh, the initial load. So, all right. What about Jackson? Hey, hey, good to see you. So you must have a break from flying. <laughs> you're on the ground. Yeah, and the truck will go home with you. That's a great, great comment. Thanks, Anna, for mentioning that. Yeah, in this uh, Council Bluffs refrigerated position, the truck will be going home with you on your home time. But if you are inquiring about that uh, Fort Dodge dedicated, that's home nightly that runs from Blair, Nebraska, from Fort Dodge, so back and forth, that one is actually slip seating, as well as the Lamar's run, the Lamar's daily position that runs from Lamar's to Sioux Falls, South of Dakota. Again, that's slip seating, so you won't be uh, you won't be bringing the truck home with you in those cases. You just woke up. Where did you fly to? Where did you fly at? Hopefully somewhere warm. Well, you're in the South though, aren't you? You were the other day at least when I spoke to you. <laughs> uh, we've got some other refrigerators that are dedicated. They're actually, oh, you were in the cold. Seattle to Memphis. So you were kind of in the midst of all of this, weren't you? So if you, uh, what was I saying? Uh, the position that's from St. Joe, Missouri, and it's actually Sioux City. The position that I have right now is out of Sioux City, Iowa, to Chicago. That one's a dedicated. It's home every other day for 10 hour, and that's, uh, again, refrigerated. You are bringing the truck home with you on your home time, and you're probably looking at about 2,800 miles a week possibly multiple drops in the Chicago area and then back to Sioux City and uh, back, yeah, back to Sioux City for, uh, for loading. So 2,600, I'm sorry. That's about 2,600 miles a week for that position, the Sioux City one. Monday through Friday and then home every other weekend as well. That one has a $2,500 sign-on bonus. Uh, the $2,500 for this position, this refrigerated position that's home every other day, pays out $500 on first dispatch and then $250 for the next eight months. There you go. <laughs> so $500 first dispatch and then $250 for the next eight months. Um, and then that's on top of what your orientation pay will be, as well as um, if you were doing any training. But orientation we pay eight hundred dollars and we split that that pay into two settlements so your first one's going to be the week you're in orientation so we'll hand that first four hundred dollars to you on a com check and then the second one is actually going to be direct deposited to you on your first settlement which will be the following friday that way you're you're really not going to have a, a lapse in pay um and it, you're just you know once you start with us you're just going to keep keep going and obviously building from there because those are $400 paychecks uh, versus when you're out on the road, you should be making around 1300 if you're, uh, uh, you know, just as a, a base, I guess, is going to be the norm right around there, at least depending on, on miles and everything. Um, what else should I tell you there? Oh, the, the other thing I wanted to mention was on top of that $800 for orientation, we have a $100 Visa gift card right now at least, that you'll be getting um, probably on Wednesday because uh, we wait usually wait till the hair follicle and the urinalysis come back before we, we hand those out. Oh, snow plows are going by. Can you hear those? <laughs> Clear in the way. Um, so yes, we, we have the $100 Visa gift card in addition to the $800 for orientation. And then it's direct deposit. So once you start 
um, gathering the miles or obtaining the miles as long as your paperwork is in by Saturday night at 10 p.m., then you'll get paid the following Friday on it. Now, paperwork you can get in through our, our Transflow app or our um, onboard scanners. So we've got those options for you to get your paperwork in. And again, they just have to be in by Saturday night at 10 in order to get paid Friday on it. So the load's got to be completed in order to get paid on it. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later. Fly safe. Travel safe. There you go. <laughs> got to go make some money, he says. Understandable. So I think right now those are the available positions that we have in more of the dedicated runs, the dedicated lanes. Of course, we've got our, our main divisions, our Midwest refrigerated position that is going to get you home weekly in most cases. Um, most cases are going to get you home weekly. We, if you're in the Dallas or Houston area, you know, Texas or Oklahoma, um, parts of Missouri that we hire out of or even into Ohio, um, Denver, Colorado, those areas of our Midwest refrigerated division, they're going to get you home about every two weeks. So we still offer, you know, we still offer 43 to 50 cents a mile in those, in those areas, but you're, you're looking at a two week out time versus if you're in pretty much in Illinois or Iowa or um, Minnesota, Nebraska, you're, you're looking at weekly home time for the most part. Again, call of the recruiter, find out for sure based off of where you live, what your exact home time will be, if it's at all in question. And you can get a hold of them at 888-668-0698. You betcha. Sean says, for the Council Bluffs Midwest runs, are the drops in the Chicago area or parts of town? Yes, it is. Yes and more, I guess I should say, because you are running out of Council Bluffs and there are a lot that are going into the Illinois area, some of them into Chicago. Um, not as much as the, the Sioux City one in the Sioux City to Chicago. Um, that one is going to be in some areas that are that are sketchier is that, is that i'm not sure if that's the word i should be using but they're in a little rougher areas um so that one i would avoid the council bluffs refrigerated that's going to illinois it's going to several different locations so for the best of my knowledge i don't think that it's necessarily in the unsafe parts of town i think it could be you know, once in a while, you might have a run that that's in uh, maybe a rougher area, but it spans out. So it, it, it's more than just one location for that council bluffs. So it's a dedicated one, dedicated route for us. No, let me see. It's a dedicated run for us in the matter that it's the same customer is what I'm trying to say, but it's not the same route back and forth. Whereas the Sioux City, refrigerated Sioux City to Chicago that one's that one's more the same. I mean, there, there's different locations in Chicago from the Sioux City one, but it, it's the same customer and they're all going to Chicago. Whereas uh, the Council Bluffs, it can go to Chicago, areas of Illinois, in Wisconsin, in Michigan, in um, Kansas, Minnesota, you know, so it goes, it does travel several areas. Um, that's a really long answer, Sean. I hope, I hope that that gives you some peace of mind or, or your wife some peace of mind, but um, it, it can. I mean, it, any, any of them that are running to Chicago can be in some of those rougher areas, but uh, you're, you're less likely with that Council Bluffs position than you are with the Sioux City. Just plain and simple. Uh, that one's going to pay you 43 to 50 cents a mile if you didn't catch that. Um, that one also has a $5,000 bonus that you get on your one year anniversary. You do need to run a minimum of 110,000 miles to get that bonus. And um, that's it. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Yeah, so it pays in one lump sum. So the, and it, it's like our Midwest refrigerated. Our, our Midwest refrigerated, that's going to get you home on a weekly basis, again, for most of those areas. Um, that one has a $5,000 bonus that pays on your one year anniversary. You must get 110,000 miles for that. Now with the Midwest uh, guaranteed pay, now that guarantee is $12.50 a week. And if you live anywhere from um, along 
along I-80, basically Omaha to Chicago, um, that is basically you'll qualify for that one. Um, Fort Dodge area, that one's going to get you home uh, every weekend with a guarantee pay of $12.50 per week. So that is the that's the refrigerator. Now the flatbed is $13.50 a week, and you need to live anywhere from Mason City, Iowa to Fort Dodge, Iowa to Chicago to Milwaukee back to um, Mason City. So anywhere along there, that'll also that'll also qualify you for that Midwest flatbed. And that, again, that's $13.50 a week, getting you home on the weekends. Um, that one's a great one, especially this time of year, because I know everybody's concerned. Those who want to do flatbed, they're always concerned about their miles, um, you know, if it's switching from one company to the next, wondering, okay, is it going to be worth it? But with the $13.50 guaranteed, it, yeah, it's absolutely worth it. Now, you can make more money than that. And the same with our refrigerator. You can make more money than that $12.50. Our goal is actually to make sure you make more than that. That's what we want to do. We want to make sure that you go over and beyond that. And especially for our Midwest refrigerated, uh, we're, we see that on a regular basis. So we want you to get paid the, the cents per mile, the 50 or the 43 to 50 cents a mile in the refrigerated or the um, uh, 44 or 47 to 52, 54 cents a mile in the flatbed. We want to see that because that means that we're exceeding the miles for you. You're doing better. We're doing better. And uh, that's all good. You're back. You weren't gone for long, so you must have not gone anywhere. <laughs> uh, welcome back. So yes, the the refrigerated, the Midwest refrigerated and the Midwest flatbed guaranteed pay. You can get more information on that. Also, what I didn't mention for the hiring area, I, I mentioned I-80, I-90 also, anywhere from Sioux Falls to Chicago. The only exception I think is Madison um, in, in that hiring area. So that's for the Midwest refrigerated. So I-90 from Sioux Falls to Chicago, um, exception of Madison. And then I-80, anywhere from Omaha to to Chicago uh, along there for the Midwest refrigerated guaranteed pay. There you go. And those are, we, we like to keep everybody happy, you know, keep them happy campers there, but uh, it's a lot easier to, to keep you happy on those dedicated because you know, you know, from week to week, you can plan your home time. You can, you can actually plan your budget. And for the trucking industry, you know, that's hard because there's usually, if you're out two weeks at a time, it's pretty common to have one week here, another week here. And even though they they even out, you know, they average out, um, it, it still fluctuates because you're going, you're usually cutting some home time, cutting some runs short to get home. And uh, with this one, you're, you're still maintaining above $1,000 a week. So you got to like that. You've got to like that, right? <laughs> Oh, what else are you missing? Oh, our over-the-road refrigerated division out of Missoula, Montana. Um, I love this. That's my hometown. So we've got uh, over-the-road refrigerated. That one is actually going to uh, run you out about two weeks at a time unless, this is new and improved for the last couple of weeks, unless you live in either Missoula, Montana, which is where the terminal is at, or, uh, or around it and leave the tractor trailer there on your home time. Or if you live in Seattle, Washington, or Kennewick, Washington, or Los Angeles, California. So those areas in our, our Western refrigerated, which is really our over-the-road refrigerated, that one, uh, those are our options for weekly home time, where most everywhere else is about two, two or more weeks out, depending, again, on where you live. And to find out for the best home time, you know, the most accurate, then call a recruiter. And you can reach them at, there you go, and I'll put it on there for you at 888 Six six eight zero six nine eight. So you, where do you, you usually fly to East Chicago? Yeah, yeah, it can be kind of rough. Can be rough. I get you there. Yeah, Sean, you know that is a legit concern for his wife or from his wife, I guess, and you can't blame her. But you got to make sure, make sure that you're preparing yourself there too, right? For safety precautions. Keeping you moving so that so that you're secure. Uh, what else? I mean, our our Western refrigerated. Uh, I know I say it's Western. It's it's our over the road. It's West in the fact that it's based out in the West. It's our only terminal out here. 
Um, but that one's 27 to 3,000 miles a week. Pretty darn common. We've got some guys averaging up at 3,200. It's probably our top 25% of our drivers are at that uh, are at that 3,200 a week, I'd say. So if that sounds good, you let us know. 888-668-0698, or you can apply at drivedecker.com. Uh, other than that, uh, Bessemer, Alabama, our over-the-road flatbed division. We are hiring out of California, Washington, and Oregon for that division. So again, that's that's uh, an add-on here in the last couple of months. So if you live in anywhere along there, um, check us out. Anywhere in Oregon, I know we've had a lot of guys who have been trying to get on here at Decker for years, and they live in the southern part of Oregon. For flatbed, that'll work. So 888-668-0698. So Anna says, if they're out two weeks at a time, they most likely run 11 Western and some Midwest states. If they're out three weeks, they'll run West, Midwest, and Southeast. Yeah, it depends on the individual um, and when you're coming out. But yeah, I mean, for the most part, she's right. So a lot of it's it's coast to coast. We don't really do a whole lot of the Northeast at all, but um, it, it could still happen. But most of it's West to Midwest. Um, just to place you back out here. Definitely our longer length of haul is out of that division. A little over a thousand miles a week is, or a little, not a week, a little over a thousand miles per load is pretty common for that one. For the Southeast or our Bessemer flatbed, if you're in the Southeast, like in Alabama or Georgia, we can get you home weekly. You're probably going to run more of the Southeast and Midwest in that division and getting home weekly in, in Georgia and Alabama. Whereas if you live in Texas or Mississippi or the Carolinas, Louisiana, and you're running out of the Bessemer, Alabama terminal, you're probably going to run coast to coast, especially if you live in California, um, Oregon, or Washington, you'll be running coast to coast, getting home every two weeks um, or more, if you, you know, depending on where you live and, and what you talk to operations or recruiting about, because some areas we can make exceptions um, just with the understanding that the home time is going to be affected by that. So um, yeah, thanks, Anna. She's she's provided a little bit more information here with some of our links to our, our YouTube videos on those specific divisions. So hopefully you find those helpful. She'll add those on here for you. Um, but we can do weekly home time in both Atlanta, or both Alabama and Georgia for our flatbed. And we're gonna get here in the busy season coming up. Be ready. I am not fast enough with my clicking for you. She is quick. She does do good work, doesn't she? She's fantastic. Can't do it without her. She's gone. I miss her. <laughs> All right. Lease purchase. Lease purchase is available in several states, um, both for refrigerated and flatbed. And uh, for flatbed, we we have a, well, well, for all of them, it's four-year lease term, unless you're choosing a truck that's maybe a year or two old. And then obviously the, the term of the lease is going to go down. But usually it's a four-year term. Uh, it's $1,500 down payment for the lease purchase. And we want you to qualify for it. So it's not necessarily a competition to qualify, but in the fact that your scorecard, the basis that we we gauge your your monthly bonus off of your driver of the month, your driver of the year programs off of. We want to make sure that your numbers are high enough that you're going to succeed. So if we feel that they aren't, we're not going to want you to switch over into that lease purchase because there's no reason to put you into a lease purchase or allow you into a lease purchase if if your numbers are are not showing that you will be successful in it. So we want success. We, we don't want you to fail. There's no reason to, to put somebody in uh, financial restriction. Now, that being said, we've got a lot of guys in the Southeast that are doing flatbed. We started this, was it June last year, June of 2018? We started or we opened up the flatbed option for our lease purchase, and they have been doing a fantastic job. I just clicked on something. What did I just click on? Oh, one of Anna's. <laughs> One of Anna's links. There we go. Um, so they've been doing a fantastic job 
and really, really doing well in that lease purchase program. So if you are interested in lease purchase uh, and you're wondering whether or not it's in your state, give us a holler, uh, 888-668-0698, and we'll give you some more details about that. Um, more details as well, if you go to our, ooh, let's see, if you go to our blog, I think you can make sure that I've got this on here for you. Um, our lease purchase information. I'll have to get that over to you. So um, our lease purchase information on, on basically our scorecard and what we want your scorecard to be in order to have the, uh, or in order to qualify for the lease purchase. So we'll get you more details on that as well. So um, last month, speaking of scorecard, we had a third of our fleet qualify for the the monthly bonus. Now you can get up to four cents a mile for the monthly bonus. Our goal is obviously to get 100% of our fleets in to that monthly bonus, receiving that monthly bonus. The more we can get in there, the better you're doing, the better we're doing. We want to see it. So um, we had, we definitely want to continue to increase that and, and we'll be, we'll be working off. The scorecard is a, a basically adds up to a thousand points. And if you get a full thousand, then you get uh, a full four cents per mile. So we had 24, 25 guys get the thousand points this last month. Um, yeah, so I think we have about just under seven hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars, seven hundred um, drivers company wide right now. Yep, can get you. Get you a little bit more. Actually, it was 275 plus one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, there we go. So yes, the, the monthly bonus. If you want, we have more details on our blog about that too. You can go to drivedecker.com backslash blog. Never mind. Anna just put that link on there for you so you can access it that way. But that'll give you um, an idea of what our our bonuses are paying out. Keep you updated on some of our referrals, which are more bonuses. Those will add you up. Working on a, a little tally for everybody who's been doing referrals. We should see a good one there. Um, that's anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500 per driver that you refer that's hired on. And there's a whole lot of other benefits as well besides just the pay. Um, one of the other big ones well, it depends on who you're talking to, what they consider the big one, because we have serious radio paid for after um, two hires for the year. We have um, the the cards, which are super easy because once you have the cards and you can start handing those out and they kind of give them the details to get a hold of us, we do it for you. But um, th every quarter, which April is coming up, April 1st, uh, when April 1st comes about, we will draw for our first referral, quarterly referral bonus. There we go. And what you get there is either a brand new iPad or a brand new laptop or $750, which would be the equivalent of that. So um, nice. Yes, exactly. We kind of like that. Plus the person with the most referrals for the year gets um, either $2,500 cash or a trip to which is the equivalent uh, to Las Vegas, I think is it what it is? Trip to Las Vegas? Gotta have fun with that. You betcha. Uh, speaking of April, we mentioned driver of the month and driver of the year. Come April, we're gonna be announcing who 2018 driver of the years are. So we've got them for four divisions. Um, for 2019, we're actually doing seven different driver, driver of the year divisions, which will be nice. We'll have more opportunity to win and there's a lot more to win so um the driver of the month uh or driver of the year let me think that is i think it was four divisions last year we have our flatbed being one division our western or the missoula terminal refrigerated as one division our owner operators and our midwest refrigerated as a division right pretty sure that's that's how they were split up you want a Decker hat? Get a hold of the Decker store. 
Yes, indeed. If you go to our page, drivedecker.com, and then you click on company, there'll be, maybe I can even get that to you. Um, if you click on company, there'll be a link to the Decker store. And there's all kinds of goodies there. Steph will send something out to you, whatever, whatever it is that you are wanting. So let's see, I went to corporate. So I go to drivedecker.com, click on corporate website, get an official, and then <laughs> company store, which is in the upper right-hand corner next to contact. And copy and paste. There we go. Mud Flout Jackson. Maybe. Oh, Miss Anna beat me. Always, always beats me. Good work. There you go. So now you've got it twice, three times. How many times did I put up there? A couple. <laughs> uh, yes. So now you have it. Um, there's mugs, there's shirts, there's coolers, there's, I'm trying to think of what all I've got here. Um, last year we had our Last year we did the little mini coolers. Now these are just the little lunch coolers. Um, we've got the big coolers as well. Um, these were our, actually our driver appreciation, part of our driver appreciation gifts. We've got um, business cards, put your business cards to hand out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all kinds of goodies. We've got, ha, these are some of my favorite. Stress ball, stress truck. How fun are these? All right. You got a coffee mug? Yes, I did too. I have a few. I don't have one right here. I always have my I always have my uh Grizz one. Yeah. So now that I'm playing with my stress ball, um what else am I missing, Anna? I think we covered it all. Lease team? Team? Oh goodness. So my teams, they start at 50 cents a mile and work their way up. So the more miles they get within the month, the more pay they get per mile. So up to 50, well, up to 58 cents a mile. So anything over uh, 18,000 miles a month is going to be a 58 cents a mile, but the weekly pay is going to be 50 cents a mile. And again, split to the truck. So the, so if they're getting say 12 to 14,000 miles a month, which our teams are running a lot harder than that, but we do have some teams that choose more single, like super, super solo miles. So if they're going to be around 12, 14,000 miles a month, they'll get an extra two cents a mile. Um, that's going to be paid to them on the month following when you ran it. So for January, um, everything that you ran in January, you'll get paid at the on Friday for all the miles. And then everything you ran in January is going to be calculated up. And the number of miles that you have for that month will be paid to you usually on the third week, third pay period um, following the end of the month. So there you have it. Oh, yes. There you go. So Anna has put on here a link to our pay scales too. So you guys should find that handy dandy. Uh, go to drivedecker.com and our driving careers under company drivers. That'll that'll give you the pay pay scales for everything, and then it'll also kind of include some of the details on the incentives, like the automatic detention, the layover, the uh, breakdown, our monthly bonuses. You get a penny raise after ninety days, so and then every year on your anniversary, till you max out. Um, so that's you get your annual raises, annual raises, raises. Easy to say. Stop pay extra. Drop and pick pay, hazmat pay, um, tarping, securing. Um, what am I missing? Did I miss anything? Well, flat bed, you got your tarping and securing. There we go. So thank you. Yes, indeed. Oh, getting close to time. So um, Monday, we Monday at 4 p.m. If you go to our Facebook channel, um, you can go to facebook.com backslash DTL Inc. So Decker Truck Line Incorporated. Then you can um, follow us, watch us. Little Q&A every Monday at 4 p.m. So we can talk about um, whatever's going on, whatever our discussion is for that next week. And then every Tuesday here on YouTube at noon central. So 4 p.m. central for Facebook and noon central 
for our YouTube channel on Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. So don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you like it. If you felt it was a useful video for you for the week, make sure that you share it with everybody else or share it with the people that you think will get some use out of it. And um, as always, you guys, we'd love to have you here and we appreciate you taking the time to, to be with us. So yes, mud pup Jackson, I thank you, I thank you. You go on fishing? Oh, good luck. Send us some up here. <laughs> good luck. All right, you guys have a wonderful week. And if there's anything else that you need, you get a hold of one of our recruiters, 888-668-0698. I hope some of these positions are what you're looking for and that they'll be a good fit for you. So uh, thanks again, you guys, for your time. And you have a, just an awesome week. Take care.